Social security, is your monthly check changing? That's a good question and exactly what I wanna focus on right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now just a few days ago, I was out in a video talking about a flat social security benefit. Well, as a result of that video, I've had a number of people reaching out to me down below in the comment section asking, does this mean my monthly benefit is going to be changing? If so, how? Well, that's what I wanna describe here in this video because there's a lot of moving parts about this and I wanna describe it in a little more detail and offer more clarification. So let's get into it and discuss what's going on. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side each and every day watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on and how all this information may impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and just so you can stay updated with what's going on here as things are changing literally every single day and we're getting new announcements all the time. So again, I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. And let's get into it and talk about what would a flat social security benefit actually mean for you and your monthly benefit? And does this mean that your monthly checks are actually changing as of right now? All right. Now, if you have not seen that video from a few days ago, I would highly recommend going back and checking that one out because it's actually a pretty interesting concept. And like I mentioned in that video, it would actually mostly benefit the lower income beneficiaries versus the higher income beneficiaries. So, Basically, long story short, what it would mean is, according to what these people are suggesting and the proposals out there is, is that they would want to shave down higher income beneficiaries benefits and basically take that money and shift it over to the lower income beneficiaries. So over long periods of time, over many, many years, they would slowly shave down the highest income benefits, the people that are getting several thousand dollars per month, and then they would shave that money out uh, for the higher income beneficiaries and basically give it to the lower income beneficiaries. And over long periods of time, flatten out the monthly benefit. Now, again, there's a lot of controversy about this one. I've dug into this deeper and I found some more information about this. And some people are saying, yeah, I love the idea. This is great. Let's get it going here. And some other people are suggesting, no, why would we do this? This is not how the program was originally set up. So just like everything, I mean, literally, doesn't matter what we're talking about here. Literally everything, there's always two sides of the story and there's always, a, you know, there's, there's people that are opposing and there's always people that are for the programs. It doesn't matter what we're talking about here. We could be talking about the most basic stuff in the world literally doesn't matter, right? So there's always people that say, you know, we should do it, we shouldn't do it, all the different opinions. So that's totally fine. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all going to be come up to, it's going to come up to Congress and they're going to have, or they're going to be the ones that have the final say. But when it comes down to it, would this actually be a good thing for the low income beneficiaries? Well, if you're a lower income beneficiary, it would actually mean that your benefits would actually be increased pretty substantially over the course of many, many years. And ultimately benefits would probably equal out and level out somewhere around the mid $2,000 range. So, um, you know, when you look at it that way, I mean, yeah, it'd be a pretty good thing for a lot of beneficiaries. However, I want to emphasize really quickly, and again, this was all laid out there as well, which is this would take many, many years for it actually to go into effect, okay? Now, the thing is, they would start implementing it, but it would take many, many years because they would change benefits a little bit each and every year. So it'd be incremental changes on a annualized basis. So let me give you a quick example of what this would actually mean. So you know how each and every year you get your COLA raise, right? Well, that's obviously based on inflation over the, the third quarter of the previous year. Now, here's what's interesting about it. It'd be somewhat similar to that. So whatever they would determine as far as shaving down the benefits of higher income beneficiaries, maybe it's you know, 2%, maybe it's 3%, maybe it's 4%. I'm not really sure. I've seen a, a bunch of different numbers out there as far as suggestions. They don't even know yet either. They're just throwing around some ideas as far as what they could actually do. But rather than actually giving a raise to all the beneficiaries, basically they'd essentially draw a line in the sand or it would be somewhat of a progressive scale. In other words, somebody that has a $3,000 benefit would maybe only get, say, 
you know, a 1% raise or something like this. Or, and then all the way up to the highest income beneficiaries, maybe rather than getting a raise, they actually see a decrease to their monthly benefit by say three, four, 5%, something like that. So it'd probably be some kind of progressive scale. The higher the benefits go, the less of a raise slash the more of a cut to the monthly benefit. Now, the same thing goes, the lower that you get down on the scale of benefits as well. The lower the beneficiary's benefits are on a monthly basis and a and an annualized basis, the higher that that increase would actually be, right? So these are just some of the suggestions that they're throwing around with. So when it comes down to your monthly benefit, is any changes going to happen to your benefit as of right now? Well, as of right now, no. Um, right now, nothing is going to be changing to your benefit other than the COLA, which is already in play. So that's already in play for this year already. Um, you know, as of recently, as of, you know, your January benefit, you should have already gotten that COLA raise. So that will be in effect throughout the course of this entire year. And obviously, you already know that this is not, you know, nothing's changed here, okay? But this is something that they're talking about. Now, will they actually implement something like this? Well, Let's talk about the benefits here. Would this actually benefit beneficiaries? Well, the lower income beneficiaries, yes, it would. The higher income beneficiaries, it wouldn't necessarily benefit them, but it would essentially shave their benefit down, okay? Now let's talk about some other details. Will this fix the insolvency uh, issues that Social Security has in about 10 or so years from right now? No, this would have no impact to the insolvency issue. In fact, all it would be doing is shifting benefits from one group of beneficiaries to the other. That's all it would really do. So basically what this would do, it was it would level out benefits over a long period of time for beneficiaries and eventually end up kind of at the middle point as far as equilibrium, wherever that would possibly be, probably a little over the $2,000 range is where it would actually end up, okay? So that's what it would actually mean. So we have to look at the total benefits of this. Now, obviously to lower income beneficiaries, it'd be a huge benefit, but let's look at it from a bigger picture here because this is what lawmakers are going to be looking at to determine what's the likelihood of something like this actually happening. They're gonna look at, what is the overall benefit to the program? Well, it's kind of a zero-sum game here, okay? The what, what I mean by a zero-sum uh, game is it's like, it's like the stock market, for example. One person buys a stock, one person sells the same stock. Somebody makes money, somebody loses money. That's a zero-sum game. It's the same thing with the stock market. Well, the same thing that we're talking about here. In one side, the higher-income beneficiary essentially loses money. Well, it's not really losing. Their benefit is just being shaved down a little bit. At the same time, somebody else wins, which is the lower-income beneficiary where that money is being transferred to, right? So it's literally a zero-sum game. The point is... Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really benefit the program in any way, shape, or form. It just is, okay? It just, it's just a transference of money. That's all it really is. It does not fix the insolvency issue. It does not raise taxes. It does not increase the, the maximum taxable earnings. It does not push out the full retirement age. It does not do anything to the full retirement age. It literally does nothing to the program other than moving benefits around and making the program a little bit more equal is what it really comes down to, okay? So long story short, when it comes down to it, when we look at Congress and everything that they're talking about and this here potential change that they're, you know, some people are suggesting, would this have a long, uh, long term benefits to Social Security? It would have no benefit. It would have no benefit and it would have no detriment either. It would have no impact, literally nothing. It would have... It would not be positive and it would not be negative. It's just completely neutral. That's all it is. It's just moving money around, right? So that's all it would really come down to. So end of the day, we got to look at the benefits or the potential non-benefits to the program because that's what Congress would be looking at in the event of, well, would this make sense or not? Well, we do know that there's a lot of people out there that want to make sure that these programs are more equal to the beneficiaries. Now, that's what they say. Have they done anything? No, the answer is no, they've done nothing. So all these politicians, these lawmakers who pretend to act like, oh, we care about beneficiaries and we wanna make sure that they have you know, adequate money on a monthly basis so that they can have a good, uh, you know, a good lifestyle. We wanna make sure that they are sound, they are financially sound. Okay, sounds good, but what are they doing? The answer is nothing, nothing. They're doing nothing, they're talking, they're flapping their old lips, but they're doing nothing about it, right? A lot of hot air being blown around, but Nothing being, you know, nothing being accomplished. Not even a big old hot air balloon floating around in the sky with all that hot air. Nothing. Not at all. So anyway, I hope that kind of makes sense to explain it a little bit further and let you know uh, what's happening here. But 
this is what they're suggesting and possibly you know playing these ideas that are being played around with now here's the thing we've seen so many proposals ideas packages all kinds of different pieces of legislation that have been hitting the table here over the last couple of years and realistically even over just the last couple of months here we've seen a lot of different ideas hitting the table as far as what they can do for social security well this is just another one that is being tossed around out there now again i've said this before too if you're ever in a situation where you're trying to find a solution to a problem do you come up with one idea and then say well this one idea doesn't work let's forget about it and let's just give up no that's not the solution generally if you're trying to find a solution to a problem you come up with every idea you can possibly think of even the really bad ones right and you think is this going to work and you look at it and think that's not going to work. <laughs> this this is this is nuts. This is not going to work at all, right? But my point is, long story short, if you're ever looking for a solution to a problem, you got to play around with literally every idea that crosses your mind because you never know one idea may be the solution or it may give birth to the next idea that may actually have the solution embedded within it, right? So, what it comes down to is that's all they're basically doing in this time. They're in this critical phase right now where they literally don't have a solution and they're literally just throwing anything at the wall and seeing what sticks. And they're thinking, okay, well, that stuck a little bit. Let's, uh, you know, let's examine it for another minute here. So that's basically what they're doing is playing around with any and all potential ideas and just looking for anything that could possibly, you know, garner any type of support and any type of solution to fix up the program. That's basically what they're doing, okay? So it's not a bad thing, but at the end of the day, it's just, it results in a lot of different ideas and a lot of different potential solutions, which a lot of them are usually pretty bad, which is generally, you know, the consensus across the board. If we're ever looking for a solution, a lot of the ideas that we come up with are probably not that great. But at the end of the day, like I said, you got to explore everything because you never know what is going to have the solution for the potential issue. So that's again, what they're doing here. So again, I'll keep you posted as I do more details for those of you that have been wondering if this is going to change your monthly benefit as of right now. No, it's not going to do anything to the benefit now, but if they were to implement this, it'd be small incremental changes each and every year where lower income beneficiaries, and again, it would most likely be somewhat of a sliding scale, okay? So the lower that we get on the benefit, the higher that the annual raise would be, and the higher that we get on the monthly benefit scale, the, the lower that the benefit raise would be, and or potential negative raise as in a reduction to benefits, because remember, they're taking that money and funneling it back to the lower income beneficiaries. Kind of makes sense. So I can almost write a little scale about this. Like I can, like as I'm talking here, I can visualize exactly what I want to like draw out, like in a picture. It'd be pretty interesting because it would actually kind of illustrate better um, exactly what I'm trying to explain here. But I think this kind of makes sense, right? Like a sliding scale. So. Anyway, for those of you that have been asking for further clarification and asking further questions about this, if this is changing your monthly check, as of right now, no, it's not going to change your monthly check. It's just, just another idea that they're playing around with. Anyway, as I do get more details on anything out there, of course, I'll bring it to your attention right away as I truly do want to help you out. And of course, keep you informed with everything going on as it's a weird time right now and things are changing pretty rapidly. Either way, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. It's totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, so they can also see what is actually going on and the different uh, pieces of information and the announcements and anything else like that that's coming out that I'm bringing to your attention every single day. And also go back and check out some of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day, have a good one, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.